So, people ask me why St. Vincent's and why Haiti. Haiti is the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere and the third poorest country in the world. But it is only an hour and a half from Miami. So, people there are starving to death almost within the sight of Miami Beach. And we cannot sit by idly and let that go on. Those children love St. Vincent's and we love those children. We give them the best we can. But every child there at St. Vincent's gets a vitamin a day now. We have, through the auspices of Dr. Susan Nelson and our medical team, have almost eliminated anemia in these children. And some, when we first started going there, we wondered how they were still living. They were, their blood was so poor. We see very little scabies, very little worms, very little malaria now in our children. They are gaining weight, they are learning, they are clothed, they are being fed. Haiti is great. I love being in Port-au-Prince. Now, I mean, Haitians will tell you that if you've only been in Port-au-Prince, you haven't seen Haiti and you don't know Haiti at all, which is absolutely true. But even Port-au-Prince, I find delightful. But we work at St. Vincent's School for Handicapped Children, which is in the capital. Um, it's downtown by um, Holy Trinity Cathedral and the Catholic Cathedral, which are both destroyed in the earthquake. But um, the school is why we go back. We have really strong relationships with the students and the staff. Um, and you know just all the faculty there and that I mean they're why we go back because you know we've just formed this really strong like personal and professional relationships with all of them and it started out we were just doing um, like almost like emergency medical care like there were some people that you know had life-threatening diseases and my mom who's a doctor you know she said that she felt for the first several trips every time she went she saved one life, literally, like if there had, if she hadn't been there, you know, who knows if that person would have gotten another option for medical care, like in the t time window that they needed it. But now um, we've been able to document like what we've been doing and instead of emergency short-term care, you know, we're actually monitoring, you know, the, the kids, um, like iron levels in their blood are being like going up and being consistent and being at safe levels, you know, their nutrition is better um, because we also try to help them out with their food program. Um, the, the kids are growing, like their body weight is better. So there's there's actual um, improvements going on with the kids' health beyond, you know, is everybody alive? And so that's one reason that we want to go back. We've actually had surgeons to come with us. And this past summer, Dr. Becky Kamalo did surgery on a few of the kids down there who are um, in wheelchairs. And he did a few corrective things um, with some of the tendons in their ankle. And now one of the girls I know is walking with crutches who's been wheelchair bound her entire life. And so we're also trying to do more like physical therapy aspects with some of the kids who have problems walking and then get stuck in a wheelchair. And then they, you know, their body really just calcifies and then they really are wheelchair bound but there's a window of time where you can interfere and a kid may actually have the opportunity to walk if they just get the right you know training and physical therapy and whatnot it was really exciting um, to see Christina who, who's I, like she's been there since the first time I went in 2009 and you know she's been wheelchair bound and I think she's probably 15 now and she was walking with crutches it was really fantastic I'm Drew Woodruff, coordinator of the West Tennessee Haiti Partnership, and I thank you for visiting our website today. We welcome all people of all faiths to travel with us to St. Vincent's. It's life-changing if you go down there. It doesn't matter if you're Jewish, Catholic, Episcopalian, or even Baptist. We love everybody that goes down there.